I am out with Field Sports Channel regular Jaff Jafferson, big chief of the South Somerset Ferreters. But they don't just ferret. Tonight, they lamp, and it's a clinical operation. This fox, it, he's just lamp shy. He doesn't like the lamp. As soon as you put the lamp on it, gone, and he won't come back. So, it's, it's a fox I've been after for a little while. Um, this particular farm, they farm geese. So they're due to get all their geese soon, so he's pretty keen for us to shoot this fox. So we've got night vision now. It's something I've never used before really, so it's all quite new. Um, but I think it's going to give us that advantage that we need. So fingers crossed, yeah, we do Dan a favour and shoot that fox. Now you've got one other advantage, and that's the silage cut, isn't it? Yeah, we've had silage cut today, and about three or four days ago, so it was fresh cut grass. We all know foxes like fresh cut grass and stuff, so fingers crossed. We'll uh, get out there and hopefully shoot it. First stop is Burger King. Not for the burgers, but for the customers. Jaff unloads the rifles so we can have a look at them through the night vision. I mean, they're always hanging around Burger King. Well, I just want a safe shot. I mean, we've got no backstop. Um, we've got a filling station, Burger King, about 200 yards behind. I mean, I was trying to call it in a little bit closer just to get the angle on it, but it just wouldn't, you know. There was two foxes there and both of them just didn't want to know. When we reach the place Jaff hopes to find the fox, it's a quick sweep with the lamp and then Jaff switches to night vision. It is exactly where he expects to see the animal. This one is coming in like Lassie. These guys know their country. I had to shout to make it stop. Um, you know, I suppose I shot it about 40, 50 yards away. Um, yeah, it came in lovely. It just shows the advantage of having night vision rather than a big blaring light. A Photon XT. I mean, it only costs about £425 brand new. And I think it's a great little bit of kit, you know, for the for the price of it. For anyone starting out using night vision like myself, brilliant. I mean, what I might try and do is get a, an infrared spotter as well so we can eliminate the lamp completely. Um, just to give us that edge again, you know. But I think with having the screen in the car as well helps because the driver can see what's going on. And how far was that deer, do you reckon? Ooh. 80 to 100 yards. Yeah. That screen used to be the kids' in-car entertainment, but has now been rewired by Jaff for more important work. Ben, the driver, and Lamper used to drive only on night vision when he was serving in Afghanistan. Yes, I, uh, I did a tour of Op Herrick 11 in 2009 uh, slash 10 over Christmas period, and our vehicles were fitted with a uh, infrared screen. And helping Jaff this evening, I have been using my uh, knowledge and experience of doing that again. Did it take you back? Um, yeah, I suppose it does take you back. It's a 4x4, which I'm used to driving. And um, using the night vision and obviously having a rifle on the roof, it's all pretty much the same thing and kind of makes me miss it a little bit, but it's all good. For more about the South Somerset Ferreters and for surgical operations on foxes in the West Country, look for them on Facebook.